Oh, good. I'm sorry. I got my... Yeah, get me a driver's license, your registration, your insurance card for this motorcycle. Sure thing. Why are you riding like that? I'm sorry. I just got a little carried away. Are following you? No. Put my siren on? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I oh, didn't... Oh, I know. Everybody's sorry. But yeah, you yeah. ride like an asshole, and you're putting everybody else in danger, and then you don't stop. I, I honestly, I didn't see. I'm sorry. That's I... what the mirrors are for. Understood. Get me your paperwork. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Rice Rocketeer. Now, you may be wondering why there is a time code going at the bottom of the screen, and I'll jump into that in a minute. But first, I do have to tell you to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to the channel and like the video if and only if you like it. Uh, today is going to be a long video, as you can tell from the timeline. I'll explain what I'm doing and, uh, yeah, once I jump on the bike and, and get riding. So, uh, without further ado, let's make the intro short and get going. Uh, freezing out today. It's like 30 degrees. It's warming up as the sun comes up, but, uh, yeah. Uh, that's fine. This is good. Map is set. Let's go. I'm, like, super layered up today. I have three layers under these pants. Two pairs of socks. <laughs> Got a hoodie, thermals, Under Armour on top. I'm good to go. All right, so da -da -da -da. change my mode. Let's go. Alright guys, so as you can tell, I, uh, I've taken this route many times, and I am um, going with it. Thank you! <laughs> I am going out to Long Island today, and it's going to be a long video, so I'm going all the way until the end of the North Fork. Um, I want to hit past Orient, there's like a, a lighthouse at the end that I'm going to try to reach. Um, the whole idea is to do this in one cut. Like, I don't want to make any cuts. It's going to be kind of unedited. And uh, I just want you guys to follow along for the ride. That's it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to stop about halfway through to uh, change the battery in my GoPro out, but I'll account for that. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's going to be beyond what I usually do. Usually I go out, like, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, the, the trip is quoted. When I looked at it, um, and I'll post the, the initial estimate, uh, it was like a two-hour estimate, which we all know bikes <laughs> cut through the time, time and space continuum, so that two hours hopefully will turn into an hour, but I'm really curious uh, just how fast I can get there without doing anything stupid, you know. Um, so, that's going to be the ride. I have a couple thoughts I want to share along the way, um, but yeah. That's it. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. I'm going to have to pull over for one minute, guys. Sorry. Whenever I get a chance. Just filled up, so I got like a full tank of gas. We can also see mileage too. Um, it's about a hundred miles out there, so if I can make it out in one go, that would be awesome. Uh, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to refill just to be safe. I don't like getting below like a quarter tank, if if that, if that.
rattling around. Uh, I have forgotten to, I think the, uh, I didn't snap my D-ring in, so I think the, the, I didn't put it in correctly. I think I gotta pull over and fix that. So, if I follow Google Maps estimate, I'll be there at noon, but I would rather be there at like 11.20. I don't know if that's realistic. I'm going to pull over at the next chance I get. Uh, before I get into any topic, I'm just going to zone out for a minute and enjoy the ride, so uh, stay tuned. I also have my 360 camera right here, uh, which I'll use when I get closer to the like the pretty part of Long Island. There's no reason to kind of capture 360 footage of this highway. Makes no sense. Let these guys go.
shifter is a little sticky today. I think it's just the weather maybe. I should probably like oil it up or something. I should look into that. It's not terrible. It's just noticeably takes a little more effort than usual. What the hell is this thing? Looks like a drill of some sort maybe? know that so recently I didn't know motorcyclists were allowed in here yeah right there it says it on the side but I guess that shows how little I pay attention Tesla, god damn it. <laughs> ah, I'm like permanently stuck behind this truck. It's moving at a cliff.
I think I just got the tack. I think I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, okay. <laughs> All right, now we're a little more open.
God damn it. There's some like random bumps in this route. <laughs> Or something happened. All right. Well, while we're in this traffic, guys, I guess I'll start talking a little bit. Um, so, as I mentioned in my previous, uh, I had an epiphany video. Uh, I had some realizations, and it got me moving in the right direction. And I'm, I'm rather excited. I got my energy back. I feel like a new person, um, and I have an idea of what I want to do. Um, <laughs> it like came kind of like suddenly. I didn't expect this at all because it's actually like the opposite of what I told myself I'm good at and what I should be doing but I want to do something with computers I want to do something with design and I'm, I'm beginning to learn coding um, I, I don't think you know well I'll explain my like my thought process um, <laughs> before I share all the other shit but uh, the, the, the way I got to this decision was I realized oh this is too good to give up Uh, I realized that, you know, my, my venture into the world of wine and being a sommelier for five years, what I really loved most about it was the fact that I could, like, sift through this vast body of information. And, uh, you know, the organization and the, uh, the meticulous record keeping of information and and then the, the second part, which was like communicating that information to the guests, which was the majority of the rewarding part for me. Uh, there's a lot of the same qualities in coding and creating, designing a, a web page or an app or something um, when I started to read about it. Um, there's obviously, coding is obviously the technical side of it, so learning how to actually build something from scratch is really cool but you need to know a huge variety of different commands and inputs and how to make those things work you know it's really like a puzzle at least that's how I see it um, so is that another cop <laughs> uh, and then there's the, like the rewarding part I could imagine is getting to the point where you design it and you put the thought into like what should look like what what should go where and what effect it'll have on the user, and then if users use it and like it, that's rewarding, I would think. 
So that's kind of my thought process and why I decided to go that route. Um, after I made that video about having an epiphany, I really had this surge of energy. And it was like, kind of the walls came down and I could see for the first time and I was like, oh wow, coding, cool. And I just jumped right into it. Like that day, I literally started to, uh, you know, review uh, HTML is the first step. So that's, that's where I'm starting and I'm just kind of picking apart how an HTML document works and like, you know, how to frame it and all of that's so interesting to me. And I really like the idea of putting in the legwork to like build a foundation before you go ahead and start building things. Like I'm a big fan of that, like slow progress. Um, I like that. Um, so I'm just taking my time right now relatively because I do need to, to hurry this up. But uh, I'm, I'm trying not to freak out. I'm trying not to make the same mistakes I used to make, which was like telling myself that I'm behind all the time. I'm not behind. I'm just taking it at my own pace and doing it the best way that I can. Um, but that's what I'm going to do with my life. So over the next year, I guess, I'll be sharing stories about what I learn and kind of, you know, maybe it's something else. But right now, I'm quite certain that this is what I'm going to end up doing. Um, I had this same feeling. Uh, I think I mentioned this in my last video. It's not spiritual, but it's like I knew. As I started to get interested in wine, I was like, oh, okay, I think, I think this is it. Like, I feel it. Like, something feels weird. Something feels different. And, like three weeks in with like I took three weeks to kind of dabble and like just like stick my toe in and then I went like full throttle <laughs> for five years so I, th I get the same feeling as I did then now uh, with coding and I'm really excited because like I, I am just dabbling and I don't want to go full throttle yet uh, but when I, I make that decision that that's the thing if it is then I'm, I'm going for it so uh, 2024 has brought about new Okay. Woo! Twenty twenty four has brought about uh, a new prospect for me in my life, and uh, new excitement, and I'm happy because it's long overdue. So uh, I'm ready to hit this year running, and uh, you know I'll keep you guys updated as to like what happens and what I'm thinking, what I decide to do. If any of you guys are coders out there and have any or uh, uh, work in that industry, you don't have to be a coder, designer, or whatever, um, engineer. If you guys have any input or suggestions or tips for the industry or for someone new, I know it's a very interesting time in terms of AI and what that means for people with these jobs. Um, so I, it's, it's all kind of like, uh, what would you call it? Turbulent, I guess is the right word. So I don't really know what I'm getting into or if I'm going into a dying field, I don't know. But I just, from an outsider's perspective, I think common sense dictates that even if you have AI, AI is not going to fully replace designers and the people who do the thinking. AI is only so good as the, the inputs that you, the prompts that you put in. So I, I don't think that the job will be obsolete. Maybe the pay is less, which would be very sad, but... <laughs> uh, you know, anyway, if you guys have suggestions out there, let me know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about moving to this industry. Uh, all I know is that I'm very glad to not be in restaurants and to have a prospect of an idea of what I want to do that's not food related. So that's my career update. I'm going to keep on cruising, throw some music back on, and uh, check back in in a little bit. Uh, let's see, where are we at right now? It's 10.32, so it's been a half hour, about another half hour. I'm going to pull over and check the battery because I don't want to really miss much of the trip. It's not that it's so interesting, it's just that I, uh, I don't know, it's a fun project. I'm, I'm seeing how long it's going to take. I want to capture the whole thing and who knows. So, alright, I'm going to be quiet.
so open out here. This is great. I know it's a straight road, but it's still really therapeutic. I, uh, I know I'm long overdue for some twisty roads. I just like... When it's this cold, like, the twisty roads are really enjoyable, and I like being comfortable while doing it. So, like, going out when it's cold, it's just, like, you can't pull over and reflect. You can't think. It's just, like, it's you don't get the full effect, in my opinion. So, I'm, I'm kind of just steering clear because it's... And also, your tires are cold, so, like, leaning... I, I assume leaning the bike over isn't the best idea when it's that cold. And there might be, you know, some frozen over patches, and it's just... I don't know doesn't seem safe and it doesn't seem too enjoyable for what I like to do. This, regardless of how cold it is, like kind of riding in a straight line, like if you're geared up enough, you'll be okay. So I like doing this type of thing more when it's cold. Um, yeah. <laughs> Getting to uh, get a little cold, but I'm okay. It's not terrible. So this, uh, <laughs> this, uh, helmet has, I don't know what it is, I think it may be a seam that's, that's a little broken, but it whistles, and it sounds identical to a police car, so, like, I get multiple times through these longer trips, I get so scared, because I hear this whistling in the back of my helmet, and I'm like, oh my god, where is this car? <laughs> I've learned to, and like, I can't, you know, the thing is, like, I can't just, like, write it off. I can't be like, oh, it's nothing, because if it is something, it is something, and then it's not going to be good, so. <laughs> right, let's see, I'm about two bars down on my battery. We're at 42.5 miles, so I'm, like, a little, I'm at 40% of the trip. Not bad.
fun. That was a good run. things I've been thinking about a lot like I guess I can like confidently say I'm a creator now right like I've made almost a, I think I've made over 100 videos now anyway like the thing is so a huge part of me just loves making these videos like that's what it's about and but then you slide into this mindset of like you want your videos to do better right um, so you start thinking of tactics of like how to you know your, your, your retention rate, and your click-through rate, all these, the, the analytics of your channel. And it's cool, because, like, it's interesting to see, like... Ah, let me focus. It's interesting to see who's watching your stuff, and, like, you, you can't help but get a little addicted to the process. Um, but honestly... You know, over the break, I had a lot of time, and I wasn't, I was editing a couple things, but, like, nothing serious, so, like, I had a lot of time on my hands. So, between starting to learn coding and doing this, um, you know, I just, I kind of just got tired of it, and I was like, fuck it, I just want to make videos, like, that's it. So, like, I don't know, I'm just constantly in this in-between, because I'm like, if nobody sees them, then it's all for nothing. But is it really all for nothing? Because I just like doing it. So, like... <laughs> so, I don't know. This is, like, a dilemma that goes through my head. It's, like, how much should I care? And, like, I should just... It's just hard to turn that switch off of, like, just make it and post it and be happy, you know? Like... I, but that's part of what this video is. It's, like, I'm going to edit... I, the intent is to edit less of it and just let it run. Because this is just what it is. This is my day and this is a... I'm having a blast today, and to share that with people, whoever sees it, however many, however little, it's awesome. So, you know, I'm constantly struggling with that, but anyway, this is a roundabout way of saying thank you to the people who do watch, and who do click that like button, and who do follow along, it means so much to me, because I really like sharing it, especially with people who want to see it and get something from it, you know? Like... I'm not making informative videos for people thinking about buying a specific mic or anything, so I'm just trying to share my experience with you, and, you know, I've watched a few other channels of, uh, recently, like, in the past week, where I realized, like, I, this one guy in Australia, I'm forgetting his name, I'll, I'll post it on the screen when I edit this, but, uh, beautiful footage, like, I'm watching him ride these twisty roads, and I just, like, loving it, I'm sitting in bed watching it on an iPad, and, like, it gives me such pleasure, and I'm like, ah, that's what that's like, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do, so, uh, you know, I do really just enjoy what I do, um, regardless of how, how many or little people see it, but, still a thought that I have, whoa, whoa. I'm pretty sure cops are, there, there's more cops from here on, I remember this type of road on the last time I came out here, like this texture and color, so I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled here.
Oh man, that sucks. guys so uh, I pulled over because my, my GoPro died uh, I'm relatively sure I got it in the like 10 minute window frame so I'm out like 10 15 minutes um, but all good a little cold too these gloves are not doing it for me I gotta figure this out before the winter really sets in but uh, yeah I'm gonna continue on my way got the 360 ready because we're approaching uh, the North Fork if we're not already on it let's see where are we at Oh, yep, we're about to hit the North Fork. So this is the last stretch here. Uh, it is 11.05, so that is one hour. I would bet it's another half hour, so an hour and a half. Uh, just what I thought, actually. That's great. Oh, shit. <sighs> Let's do this.
That was a fun run. I don't... I'm pretty sure I got most of that last uh, sprint. But... Perfect out here. gas here so I don't have to worry about it. Four dollars a gallon, I like that. So let's see, I'm Let's see how many miles we did so far. And I was down to like four bars. So 71 miles, a little under a half tank. Um, that's not bad. It's not bad for having this exhaust on here too. country now this is the the nice part I think there's another stretch of highway and then it gets nice um, there's some fun straightaways though um, am I doing going straight right to see the other day I was in like second or third oh man look at that house that's crazy <laughs> it's like a painting or something um, uh, I was in third gear I think or second and really pinned the throttle and I felt the wheel come up so I power wheeled it which was nice um, so maybe I can do that again
Well, I'm getting pulled over. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm sorry. I got my... Yeah, get me your driver's license, your registration, your insurance card for this motorcycle. Sure thing. Why are you riding like that? I'm sorry, I just got You're a little carried I'm away. Following you? No. With my siren on? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I oh, didn't. Oh, I know. Everybody's sorry. But yeah, you yeah. ride like an asshole and you're putting everybody else in danger and then you don't stop. I, I honestly, I didn't see. I'm sorry. That's I, what the mirrors are for. Understood. Get me your paperwork. Why is your paperwork not fucking there? So that when you run on us, we can't read it, right? Pardon? That, that's why it's up there, so when you run on us, we can't read the plate. It has to be read from the rear. Okay. Uh, I just need your, your registration, your, your license, and your uh, insurance call for the bike. Got this uh, registration I got on my phone. You have insurance? Pardon? You have insurance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't need to see the registration, I need to see the insurance. It's on the phone, I can get okay. it off the plate. Uh, you have insurance on there? On, your on here, phone? yeah, yeah, just let me think for one sec. There we go. I'm sorry, I really, I didn't see it, otherwise I, I pulled right it over. It shouldn't matter whether side. you see me or not. You live in New York City? Yes, you sir. Where you're from? Ride like that in the city and see what happens to you. It's not a place to ride like that. We have school buses picking children up and letting them off, and you're riding over 100 miles an hour. You're not gonna be able to stop this bike. Yeah, yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, currently, I, I worked in restaurants, but now I'm, I'm unemployed at the moment. Oh, okay. In between jobs. And what are you doing out here? Uh, I'm just in, enjoying the road. <laughs> All right, sit tight, I'll get it off the okay. All right, listen up. You're getting a Christmas gift, and it's not the ticket. It's the ticket you're not getting for the speed. I had you over 100 miles an hour back there. With your five points, or I don't know if that's still on your license or not, but your license would have been gone on that one. Getting a ticket for the license plate. You cannot have it tucked under like that. It has to be visible from the rear. Okay. Okay? That's the only ticket you're getting today. Where are you going now? I would... Let, let me rephrase that. I advise you, if you're going to stay in town, to ride like a normal person because the bike kind of stands out. And if we stop you again, it's not going to be this nice. You're uh, going to get paid for it. I, I understand. It's not the fact that there's tons of deer out here. If you hit a deer at 100 miles an hour, you're dead. There's, I mean, there's no way fans of bucks. We have school buses picking children up also. Just trying to make it safe, that's all. No one wants to see you get into a wreck. No one wants to see you hit anybody else. Got it? I understand. There's, your, there's that. You can fix that through the mail. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. And it doesn't mean much, but I, I just... It's a... it, it means a lot. It means a lot that you pulled over because most guys don't stop if they're going to be idiots and run. 
And that well, that's why I'm cutting you a break because I figured if, if you were an asshole, you would have ran and not not even stopped. Well, thank you. But you know, I just don't want you to be. I don't want you to get into an accident. We have deer out here; they're all over the place. Okay. All so, I understand. Right? So have a good Christmas. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. You too. Alright, thank you. Uh, I'll explain in a Oh man, I got so lucky. <laughs> uh, so he pulled me over oh Jesus <laughs> um, and all this guy gave me was a ticket for the license plate being tough what a really nice guy like Jesus Christ uh, given my speed <laughs> he could have seriously messed me up oh god I wouldn't have had a license well Today is a, uh, a learning experience for me. It is 11.49. I'm still beating the Google estimation estimate. Uh, I'm going to mind my speed the whole rest of the way. <laughs> oh my god. Very lucky day today, guys. Oh man. Wow. All right. Uh, well, that ride turned out a little bit differently. Yeah, I cut the uh, the GoPro footage just because I didn't know how that was gonna go, and I didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I talked to the guy, that police officer, was very nice. Obviously, just did not want me speeding the way I was. So, uh, but he pulled me over. I got a ticket for the tail tidy. Um, so I guess I will have to address that. Um, <laughs> Um, this is the tip of Long Island. There's a little bit more, but it kind of ends like right over there. Um, I got to find some place maybe here, warm up. Um, but that was my ride for today. Unexpected pullover. It's my own damn fault, I guess. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in for today's ride. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. God damn, it's beautiful.